Tak, bojenos dnes, dámy a pánové, vás vítám naši jedný sady na hru Mass Effect Andromeda, chce se mnou mluvit Suvi, tak my to si nenecháme ujít, ne? I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Subi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Oh, it's so spolu tak pěk. Je, můj mazlíček, počkej. Je, mám svou mazlíčka. Ještě jenom děkuji za to, že se se pokud chceš vědět, jak rostliny, které jsme zasadili, jsou Tyrell. Oh. Lexi, po naší poslední debatě jsem já i jsem udělal rychlo kurz o historii, abychom lépe pochopili úhel pohledu na to druhé. Bylo to velmi napomocné pro nalezení styčných bodů, ale také pro zdůraznění rozdílu mezi Semem a Getty. Getové kvary, getové kvary ani k přežití nepotřebovaly, ale sam bez průzkumníka nedokáže provádět své primární funkce. Pořád se mi nelíbí, že sam vám může klidně zastavit srdce, ale už nemám možnější můžu z toho, že by mu hra bylo a začal by se zahrávat s vaším životem. Lexi. Ty ale ty tež blbka, ale. A. Děkuji, že jsem to mohl. Pro někoho to malou roli, to tam se objevují celé vůbec. Díky takovým těm otázkám, které jsem se musel, co lidé jedí, jsou jejich vlasy hebké, jak vypadá jejich domovský svět. Jsem opravdu šťastný za naše dvě velvyslanectví. Zůstaňte čestný. Dělal. A. A. Beru. Tak. OK. Tak. Cesta k, Meridi k Meridianu. Promluv si zvuk. You have AVP outstanding Pathfinder. To je mi uprdele. To je mi uprdele. Hey, are you okay? I shudder to think what the Archon meant to do with you. And I hated watching you die like that. I think of myself as daring and death defying, but you? I did what I had to to get us out of there. You're made of strong stuff, Ryder. Just don't get yourself exalted, okay? That asshole means to catify us all. Can't let that happen. But he's close. He's almost figured out Krogan. It's the scariest thing. Ugh. Let's talk about something else, okay? Okay. Tak, spíš bychom si krásně promluvili, tak zase zpátky do práce. Oh, už tam jsou tři archy. Oh, my bože. Už chybí jenom ta salarianská archa. Takže tak, no, tak. Vítejte zpátky na Nexu. No, teď to skloňování o cizích jmen je docela svým způsobem prdel, kdybyste se ptali. Tak ani já nevím všechno, no, že jsem tež úplně pitoma někdy v některých, na některé věci, takže. Co se stalo? Haki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cell. Do tam. Abyste vypadal neodolatelně. Já si myslím, že nejenom neodolatelně, ale bych vypadal s 
skvělé prostě. Tak jdeme. Co to tu máme? Co to tu je? Jo tak. Já chci najít Kerry. Nikdo si jiného neudělat. Že jich posunul. Oh, hej Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. Je je čas na útěk z vězení. They didn't hurt you, did they? Nothing's hurt except my dignity. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, they've had other people in the cells, rioters. People crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Tak, počkej na nový rozhovor od Kerry. Tak, prioritní operace, cesta, cesta k Meridianu. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> The Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. It's true. I had to leave some Solarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder. Apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. <gasps> Sara je probuzená! Jo! Bych si promluvit se Sarou, vole. Tak ta mě zabije. <laughs> Sara Raidrová mě zabije. Zabije svého úžasného bratra. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? You were in a coma. I couldn't bring myself to tell you, Sarah. Not like that. But the truth was never going to change. He was always going to be dead. I know. But at least I'd be here when you woke up to hear it. We're all that's left, Scott. I know. But 
Two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder. That's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. Oh, oh who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. <laughs> Fuck's moving, Adela. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Kamo, to co bylo? Tak. Tak, promluvte si. Kamo, to bylo pěkný. Tak oni. Jasné, že jí nechtěla lhát, no. Já třeba bych to taky, kdyby někdo prostě byl v komatu, tak radši mu řeknu lež a pak mu řeknu pravdu. Ale jako Raider udělal správnou věc. Já si myslím, že jsme udělali opravdu správnou věc. Přehraješ vzpomínku. The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Oh. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh huh. But privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat—they're called Reapers. Shepard's word for them: something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every fifty thousand years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly, the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know, but according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you, and it's happened. So, if the commander says these reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. They will keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <laughs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <laughs> There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. 
He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. So this was dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find mom. Oh shit! Tak teďka to úplně... Come on! Tak, archivní systém. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. Do prtele? Why? Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Ty vole. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are. All these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen. I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. 
I don't know if your arms made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Signing off. Ty vole, takže oni odletěli prakticky před těma smrťákama, takže tohle to se vlastně prakticky odehrává v době. Jakože jo, je to o 60 let později, ale prakticky v době, kdy ty smrťáci tam vlastně útočili, takže. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Tak, odhlasit. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni. To víme, že se, že studuješ pro tajny. Kámo, to co bylo? To bylo. To bylo tak nádherné rozloučení prostě. O můj bože. Taková krásná vzpomínka na Šepyho. Kámo, ale naštěstí to neskončilo špatně pro nás. My jsme naštěstí hráli předešlé díly. A komandr Shepard všechno zvládl, takže úplně na pohodu. Pane na pohodu jsme to dali jak nic, kámo. A! Ah, no vlastně, teďka jdeme za Sárou. Jdeme za Sárou Raiderovou. Saro? Saro? <laughs> to prdele. <laughs> to vyběhla trošku jinak, než jsem chtěla. Saro? Uděta lidi. Saro? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E. R. Are you saying? I saw Dad's last memory. E. R. is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's mom. Oh my god. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. I said the same thing. But does it really matter? She's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Waking her up will be fun. Surprise, Mom, you're still alive! Dad put you on ice. <laughs> and, uh, oh, almost forgot. You're in Andromeda now. An unusual way to greet your mother. But I will defer to you. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill together. No, yes, me. Wow! We do continue to have to be right through, lady. Super. Come on, Jesus Maria, we should. 
už teď to začíná být úplně jako... Už teď to začíná být napínavé, hodně napínavé to začíná být, co to bylo. Jako to nic, to no tady dělá furt nějaké blbosti, jo, to, to, to jako... Počkej. Probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe too? Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. That all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life, or at least. The idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exoarchaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. Oh. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? I thought you might want to know how dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7, the things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born and dad was posted to the Citadel as an attache. What do you remember about mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide and seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. <laughs> Hey, jak já jsem byla s Karlikem taky. Přijala jsem mu fotky se Sevily a říkala jsem mu, jo, jako bys tam byl, prostě. Takže své možnosti prodiskutujete s ostatními průzkumníky. Prodiskutujeme, prodiskutujeme možnosti a pak se vydáme na Meridian. Ale to až v další epizodě asi, protože tady tuhle tu jsme záhadně nechali. Sorry. Vrm, vrm, tak. Tak, co nás tu čeká, povídej. Ryder, good to see you. 
We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. First you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Oh. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. Tak, dámy a pánové, já to tady pro dnešek tipnu. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative. Dámy a pánové, já to tady pro dnešek tipnu. Děkuji moc za každý odběr, za každý like, za každé zhlednutí a uvidíme se v další části na hru Mass Effect Andromeda. Tak zatím adios, amigos.